Hi there, it's Hallie Crawford. Thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to respond to this article in the Wall Street Journal right away because the author, Jeff, has some incredibly valid and important points in what he's talking about here about achieving your dream career. And these points are things that I think people tend to overlook or forget when they're in the process of working towards their dream. So the title of the article again is To Find My Dream Job I Didn't Just Dream. And he starts this article out brilliantly with the point of talking about quotes like, if you can dream it, you can live it. We've all heard this kind of stuff before. If you can see it, you can make it happen. If you can dream it, you can make it a reality. And these things are true. You have to be able to see something in order to attain it, right? But what gets overlooked when we just look at these quotes meant for inspiration, what gets overlooked is the reality of successful people who have achieved their dream worked really hard to get there. I'm an example of this, so I wanted to point this out for you, not to be a Debbie Downer and not to be negative, but to bring a good dose of reality into this and give you the perspective and understanding that your dream isn't just going to fall in your lap that you have to work towards it. There could be blood, sweat, and tears involved, and there's gonna be challenges along the way. It's all worth it, as it was for me, but you have to work to achieve your dream. It's not just gonna happen or fall in your lap or someone's gonna wave a magic wand, okay? So in this article, he's talking about um, shaking the trees, and this is such a great metaphor. Shaking the trees in order to learn more about your dream career and make it a reality. What I, the metaphor I use for my clients, what I say to people is you have to stand in the traffic. In order to identify what your dream job is and make it happen, you have to stand in the traffic. You need to talk to as many people as you possibly can, as often as you can, about your dream, to learn more about it. So you've got to get out there, stand in the traffic, find out where the people in your industry that you want to be in, where do they hang out? and set up informational interviews with them, talk to them at networking events, whatever it is. You need to educate yourself about how they got into it. How can you break into this industry? What kind of skills and experience do you need? And what are the keys to be successful here? Your goal here is to educate yourself. You're not going out there asking them for a job. That's the wrong way to go about it. The goal is to learn as much as you possibly can and the more you do this, the more you shake those trees, the more information you're going to get and further and faster, um, the faster you will move along towards your dream and the more likely it is that it will happen. So talk to as many people as you can. When you look at my example of achieving my dream career, from the day that I quit my last full-time job to having my own business as a career coach, it was four years, guys. It took a lot of effort and work on my part. I was working two jobs for several years to start my coaching practice while I was working in another part-time job. There were days where it was stressful, where I was exhausted, and I was investing money in my business that I didn't know when I would ever get back. But I gotta tell you, it was worth it. And so the positive side of this is that even though it does take work to achieve your dream, it's worth it. That four years didn't take, it didn't feel like that long. It wasn't that painful for me. It was actually kind of fun because I was doing something I love and working towards something I knew was going to be fulfilling for me. So the good news is that it shouldn't feel like work, even though you're putting a lot of effort into it. And sometimes you're going to come across challenges. So think about this this week. Here's your action step. Take 30 minutes, just about 30 minutes, however long you think you need for this. And sit down and write down how many things you have done, how many action steps you have taken in the past three months towards your dream career. Make a list, look at it on paper. It's important to have it on paper. And then take a look at that list. How many things do you have on it? Do you have 10? If you do, you're good. That's great progress, keep going. But if you only have between one and five things that you have done in the past three months towards your dream career, there's a problem. You need to take a step back here and think about this and ask yourself, are you really out there shaking the trees? Do you really want this? And are you willing to make the sacrifices that it might take 
I made some sacrifices along the way in order to achieve that dream. Successful people will not only tell you that it takes time to achieve the dream, but there are gonna be some compromises or sacrifices you're gonna to have to make along the way. So are you out there shaking the trees, guys? Or are you just sitting on the couch waiting for this to happen? You know what you need to do. Get out there and shake those trees. Rock and roll, have a great day.